Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So it is time for another hashtag CW Planner. And this is hosted by Marguerite Miller. <laughs> Sorry, I went completely blank. Yes, this is hosted by Marguerite Miller. And this is her Collage Weekly Planner. I will make sure that all of her information is in the description box below. If you guys want to go over and check it out it's never too late to begin start at the beginning or start where we are right now and then do the rest of them ever how you want to but you could go over there as far as I know she still has the books available which is what I bought last year and this year because I also did this last year didn't miss a week guys so excited about that and so far I've not missed a week this year so yeah I really enjoy um, doing these types of prompt collages um, as you will note, my video that will post today at 2 o'clock is actually Amy over at Crafty Cat, her hashtag 50 stack challenge, which also she gives you prompts. So uh, it is Monday when I'm filming, and she just did hers for this week. So super excited to do that video next. Uh, it is Monday when I'm filming. I do go into work at 5. It's almost 11.30 in the morning, so it is filming time for me. Nothing I'd rather be doing before work than doing videos and playing in my craft room. Um, so, yeah, so back to this. So, you could go over and buy the book. I'm praying she does it next year. You can also go over there and just buy the prompts in digital form and print those out. Um, if she does do it again next year, and I really hope she does, I think I'm just going to buy the prompts because I already have a um, book picked out that I want to use. So, yeah, really excited about that. Marguerite, let's do it again next year, girl. All right, guys. So, this week, the assignments are something spooky. So, guys, I actually have a couple of have a couple of photos here. So, this is actually a postcard. And I'm not really sure if it... Well, I guess it could be spooky. But to me, this house looks kind of spooky, creepy, whatever. Or, yeah, it could be spooky. Um, this right here is another postcard. But I'm sorry, but this baby's eyes is really creepy. I don't think that's going to come through, but very, very creepy. So that's a bit spooky. So we're going to choose one of those. Just depends on how it comes out. A uh, music sheet or sheet music. So I have this here. This one is um, actually uh, antique. So we have that uh, black and white photo, even though that could double as a black and white photo. I thought we would lighten the spooky mood a little bit. And look, just a cute little baby and three people. So that's probably mama and ants not sure but yeah so that's really cute and both of these i did get um from my friend marie over at um oh i went blank again she's on instagram hope vintage sells there it is sorry about that marie um yeah i love her items uh a sequence of numbers so in our little confetti and stuff box here i actually have my die cut numbers um and different stuff from Amy over at Crafty Cat. Um, yeah, so we're going to be picking out a sequence of numbers. Hopefully we can jumble through those the way I got them in there and it won't take too long. Uh, pattern paper. So this is a pattern. It's actually embossed that I embossed in. Um, for some reason I did put some gesso over there. Not sure why. And then something gray. So I just have this, guys. I never did a, and I probably should have, but... I actually never did a uh, Thrifty Thursday on this, but this thing was huge, guys. Bigger than my mat here, um, and it was, it's like a, um, uh, like a duffel bag type thing, uh, but it's made to hold swatches like this, I guess, for if somebody needs to take it to someone's house and have them pick paint or whatever. This is Benjamin Moore, um, and it has just stacks, bukus and stacks of these uh, paint swatches here so I thought I wanted to show you guys that that's why I didn't take it off the ring yet I just got it ready um, so yeah so we're going to use this as our gray so that will be our gray on there and then I'll put that back in that thing that's actually full I really should do a thrifty Thursday because it's really cool with all these guys all these different colors and there's about maybe maybe six of these maybe and then it's got some of the real long slim ones but yeah super cool there all right guys so we have out our items i guess we will just go ahead and get started we need glue so let's figure out how we're gonna do i guess we need to 
pics. I was fixing to say, where'd that spooky baby go? Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to use this spooky baby. Because I won't be using that. I could probably use that somewhere else. We could change our frame of thinking when looking at this house. And it not be creepy spooky. Um, just be, you know, elegant and whatever. So let's see what we want to do here. Let's... I want to do it that way or this way and use the whole thing. Maybe we could just do that that way and use the whole thing. And then creepy baby. And then black and white. Creepy baby at the top. And then we can maybe cut that down and cover up the bottom of that with the gray. And then have a little piece of that up there. I think we will. I think maybe we have a plan here. Yeah, I think we'll do that something like that. Alright, so how do we want to do this? So I guess we could just turn this over and glue it at the bottom. Um, go with the glue bug. Glue it at the bottom. That should stick on there fine. Hope you're all doing well today. Really nice day today. We have had like, I swear, two weeks of rain straight. It's like, I think we're all waterlogged. We actually had a couple of counties in uh, North Georgia that had some severe flooding. I mean, it was terrible. Um, we didn't experience any of that here, but... Yeah, it's been really bad for some counties. We've gotten so much rain. Um, it has, you know, slacked off now. I think today there's only like a 20% chance of rain. So that's much better than the 60 to 80% chances every day we've been having. Okay, so now we're just going to cut this off. Um, so yeah, sun's out primarily every once in a while. We'll get a cloud that'll hide the sun, but for the most part, it's been pretty sunny here in Georgia this morning. Oh, guys, let me tell you. So, filming on Monday, right? I would have told you MIT Tuesday if you saw it yesterday, but I'm going to tell you again, just in case. Um, in the morning, it's supposed to be like 50 six or 57 degrees i think they said 56 oh my word y'all that is like a 20 degree 15 to 20 degree temperature drop yes it's been being around 73 74 uh in the mornings and now it is going to be 56 uh fall is in the air finally the humidity is going away it is the high is still going to be what they say, like the low 80s, like 80, 82. Um, we're just going to put glue on here and stick that whole thing down. Yeah, 80, 82, but no humidity. So we can handle, you know, 80, 82 with no humidity. So excited for that. And I hope it cools on down even more for praying to the good Lord above my vacation that if it's going to happen which when i get off on thursday at five o'clock i am uh, scheduled off friday and saturday of this week so anything else i'm gonna be off friday and saturday because that's already scheduled but i'm hoping sunday will start my what i hope to be 11 day vacation staycation i'm staying i'm sending my husband away um, and I think I told you guys a little bit about that in another video. But he is actually, well, let me tell you, had planned. Let me go ahead and tell you this drama. It's like, I swear, sometimes we can't catch a break. Um, his plan was, he's still going to go to Florida, but what he's going to do is up in the air to see our friend who lives down there. And the plan was that he was going to go down there. We're going to go ahead and glue this on with this since it's got all those indents and stuff in it. Um, the plan was for him to go to Florida to our friend's house. He's like 73. Uh, and take our lawnmower and weed eater and edger and hedge trimmer and chainsaw and uh, his tools. He was actually going to take the trailer 
hooked to the truck. It's going to cost a fortune in gas, but... Um, yeah, so the plan was he was going to load all that up Friday. Friday's his last day. He is definitely on vacation next week. Um, yeah, but the plan was... I think I'm going to just dress around that. The plan was for him to load all that up and go down on Saturday and get some stuff done for our friend and help him out because he doesn't have any family down there and also he just needs a little bit of help getting stuff done and um so yeah so he's gonna go down there he's gonna take the truck well yesterday what was he gonna do yesterday i'm trying to think i don't know what he was actually going to do yeah, I'm drawing a total blank. But anyway, he was doing something while I was at work and needed to crank the truck up and move it or do something. I don't know. He's a man. Lord knows what he was doing. But anyway, he cranked the truck up, had it right in the middle of the driveway, uh, got out to do something, and the truck cut off. Guys, it will not start back up. <sighs> Oh, my word. It's like, you know, it's Sunday. He has to work all of this week. And it's Sunday, and he's supposed to leave Saturday with a truck. Friday, he was going to get the lawnmower and all the tools, you know, loaded up in the trailer. The trailer hooked to it, all that fun stuff for his trip to go down and help our friend. And now it won't start. So he called his nephew... Um, who knows a lot about all that stuff. And anyway, still didn't get resolution yesterday. So, in order to get it moved for us to get our cars in the garage, right? Um, we had to... He hooked our four-wheeler up to the back of it. Because it was facing the house. Up to the back of it. And our driveway does have a very slight slope. It's not a very you know high incline slight slope to our driveway so um i actually steered we had it in neutral steered the truck while he pulled it up the driveway and then i put the brake on and then he got in it and uh released the brake and let it roll so he could get it out of the driveway and into the yard so now it's sitting on my grass how exciting is that um so that he can get it out of the way so we could get our cars in the garage so my suv and his truck stays outside the garage in a parking place like under our trees and our cars that we drive every day because gas you know they kind of expensive nobody driving a truck or suv on a regular basis we're not anyway of course gas has come down a lot but still okay we'll put that there um, yeah, so he's got to work on that today and try to see if he can uh, figure something out there. He's got a couple of fuses he needs to check and make sure it's not that. So, um, if he gets it fixed, he's going to stick to the original plan. But if he does it, I guess he's just going to go down in his car just for a visit. I think that's how that's going to go. Oh, I hope he can get it fixed. Uh, our friend needs help so bad. So, yeah, we shall see how that transpires. Okay, now we need our numbers, right? That's the last thing. All right. So, let's see. Ooh, I got a sweatshirt on. It's getting a little warm in here. Okay, so let's see if we can get a sequence of numbers on there. Now that I totally wasn't thinking about that. So how much sequence of numbers? Okay, so that's like numbers in a row. Is that right? How about two? We had a three. Three. Two, three. We need a four or a one. Right? There's a five just in case. Oh, well, here's a little three. Yeah, I like that one better. Uh, now what? One or four? There's a fatty five. But we need a four. 
Let's see. <gasps> Big old four. Holy moly, ginormous. Oh, look, it'll still go right there. I just don't know if we're going to get... Oh, and our five, will it go? Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, let's do that. You guys need to go over and get some of these die cuts and stuff from Amy. Here's keys. Key with a butterfly. Got gears. We got numbers. The puzzles. We got a weird eight. I kind of like that eight. Yeah, all kinds of fun stuff. You guys go over there and check out Amy at Crafty Cat. I may have bought, bought a few from her. Just a few. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to do that. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I think so. Cuteness. Thank you, Amy, for the numbers. Having them available in your shop. They are coming in handy. So, yes, guys, looking very forward to um, having some time off. Like I said, hopefully it'll work out. If not, I will just shed a couple of tears and then take myself to work, I guess. Still not sure how it's could possibly work out as shorthanded as we are, but management seems to think they can pull it off so if they can god bless them because i sure need it so we'll see okay now our four just have so many things planned hopefully i can actually get some stuff done next week who knows maybe i'll get nothing done probably going to take oh I do know either Friday or Saturday because my husband is actually coming back on Wednesday so he'll be gone Saturday till Wednesday so he's coming back on Wednesday only because really we have um, an appointment to have a gentleman come out and actually clean our <coughs> Um, air conditioner ducts to have not been cleaned since we bought the house in 2006 so um, having just a little bit of issues with I mean our air works great but as you know it's got if you don't know I'll tell you um, it's got like a um, what is it so the unit the inside units in the basement the actual units on the outside of the house um, but it has like this uh, water drop pan thing in the basement under the unit where you have the condensation and all that stuff and it drips into that pan and then there's a little pump just sitting in it and it pumps the water out and I think it goes I think it's going up under the floor but it may be going through the ceiling not positive but it has a hose hooked to it when it pumps it out and right outside the back door, I think that's on there, there is a little drain thing that comes out and it drains the water to outside. Well, that pan's filling up like with so much water, it's spilling over into the floor. So, of course, Veronica and the kids live down there, so they've been having to take a shock vac probably at least probably three times a day once in the morning once when they get home and once before they go to bed and um, shock vac that water out of it so it doesn't spill over and get water all over the floor so we're hoping because we've checked everything else so we're hoping that by having our ducts 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 ever how you say that uh, ducks clean <laughs> sorry sounds like I said duck quack quack my husband did get me on that that was a funny story um but yeah, we're hoping by having those cleaned out, beings, and they also do like the air returns, and they also do the dryer vent. Um, we're hoping by cleaning that out, that'll resolve that. If not, then we'll just go to the next step and try to figure out uh, exactly what to do there. But yeah, they're supposed to come on Thursday, 
I told him I wanted him to be here. You know, some strange man in the house, and I'm here by myself, and my husband's all the way in Florida. So, uh, yeah, he's going to come back on Wednesday and be here for that on Thursday. And then either Friday or Saturday, I told him I wanted us to go take a day and just ride up to the mountains, either Cherokee or Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge or Dahlonega or somewhere, just get away from here for a little bit so i think we're going to do that either friday or saturday and then hopefully that next week i'm wanting that sunday and monday off which will make it the 11 days all right guys we're done i'll stop babbling i'm just sitting here playing with it um so we have spooky so we have creepy baby eyes um we have our music sheet which happens to be antique music sheet uh black and white photo uh sequence of numbers amy at crafty cat these two photos were from my friend Marie at Hope Vintage Sales on Instagram. Go check her out. Uh, pattern paper we have up there. Some embossed paper and something gray. We have that paint swatch. All right, guys. That is going to do it for our hashtag 2022 CW Planner. Oh, week 37. I forgot to say that. Can you believe it? Week 37 already. Alright guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. I will make sure to list all of Marguerite's information in my description box below. And don't forget, you can support my channel by buying me a coffee. That information is also in my description box by shopping in my Etsy shop. Guys, I don't bring that up enough. Uh, I don't think I spend so much time supporting everyone else's Etsy and doing Etsy shares and all of this stuff. I really don't do a lot of self-promotion. Um, and I think I'm going to start because, honestly, I think I'm worth it. So, I do have an Etsy shop. You guys, please go over there and check it out. And Lord willing, next week, <laughs> if I'm actually off, I'm hoping to get some tangible items as well as digitals uh, listed in my shop. And don't forget, I do have those um, uh, antique document uh, what journal covers in my shop. And thank you to those who have already went over there and purchased those. I really do appreciate it. Extra special shout out to Celeste at Woodland Inspired. She actually ordered uh, the first copy of that digital that's in my shop. I can't wait to see what journal she makes with that. Um, so yes, Etsy shop. Also, if you will like and leave me a super quick comment, it's a way you can support my channel here on YouTube. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you will consider doing so. I would greatly appreciate it because coming up, guys, I'm about... 22 away 23 away last time i looked of reaching my next milestone of 1500 subscribers and when i do we're going to have a super secret giveaway which only means that whatever items i have for the giveaway is going to be a secret uh the winner will not know until they arrive in the mail i'm hoping it will feel like christmas for them uh, unwrapping a present that's my hope anyway and i hope it brings them lots of smiles and um yeah, it makes them feel real good, and they're really happy uh, with the items that I send them for the giveaway. But that's coming up um, sometime within two weeks of me reaching my goal of 1,500. I am going to pick 10 videos. Of those 10 videos, they will be recent videos. Of those 10 videos, we will pick one video to actually use the random comment picker generator uh, to pick someone. So what you have to do is make sure to comment on all of my videos and hit the like button. Because whatever video we end up using, you have to have liked, you have to be a visible subscriber, and you have to have had left a comment on that video. This is Open International. I want everybody to be involved. Uh, so yeah, thank you all so much for your support. I love you guys. I'll shut up now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.